I mean, you have to defend your interpretation. <laughs> this is definitely not. <laughs> uh, even if this isn't the right interpretation, it's probably better than that one. So. Yeah, I, I mean, Meyer, so he was kind of like, yeah, my memory. <laughs> so, so tell me this. So where, where do you start? Where does this this action I start? start? I'm asking sort of about range, oh. right? So what is a, yeah. I didn't catch anything about range, but I think it would make the most sense if we were with So part of it is just because the translation we're using doesn't use, it, do, it translates the terms rather than uses them in the German, right? So he says, in the onset, which we understand as the Zufekten. So how do we know if we're in the Zufekten? So in fact, it means onset or prefencing. Prefencing. Oh, so we can probably say more of a distance like here. And he would be baiting me to attack him by presenting an opportunity to me. So far enough away that you have to kind of uh, yeah. slap him first. Right. I don't think far enough away where I have to take like a gap in the step. Yeah, far enough away to where. He couldn't take my staff from where he is. So I would have to move in, and then he would have to pull up his mumbo jump. Right. Because, so think about your defense, right? Are you just taking? Are you just voiding? I didn't get any, from the clues in there, I didn't sound like I was actually taking the staff at all. Binary thing. Sound like it just reach over top and thrust his head at the same time. Okay. Um, not much over. And five more minutes to read. No, that's okay. I think it, yeah, I think it looks good. I think the, the yeah the only note I would add is probably would have started a little bit farther away than you did the first time, but otherwise yeah, I think that that meets the description. So okay. Someone else come up here and be honest. Why the step forward? Step right? So you make, so I think the stepping away is fairly clear, okay. right? And you explained that pretty well. So why, after you've stepped all the way out to the right, do you step back? Right, so you have two options. You could do a sliding twist, but if he's going to come retake the line, that's not the option. So what you want is you want to get the opportunity 
more strong from there. And then you can go from this way, try to put this in the back. You can't. There it is, Okay. Well done. Hans and I have just come into range where our weeks are crossing. Hans is going to assert control of the center by knocking my staff aside, however he chooses to do it. So he's going to, I'm stepping offline, hitting him in the head, controlling his staff, throwing him, hitting him, whatever it is. <laughs> Thanks for the pop. <laughs> you want to see it from the other side? Sure. So. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, is there anything, any particular aspect to your interpretation that you think is important, like really important? Yes. Okay. The honorable burger must void or step offline significantly because mostly what Hans is doing is asserting the center to thrust to the face. So if he doesn't step offline, he catches a point or an axe blade or a hook. So he has to step well offline. Okay. The other thing you want to do is you want to end up like this, where even if he steps back, Sure. Okay. Well done. And uh, to start this, we're coming in at the onset. Our wheels have just passed, and I, as Hans, am going to move Jamie's uh, arm out of the way. Step the, uh, the center. He's going to do a dirt wrestle under. And then have to everyone start over. So as I insert the center, he changes through and then threatens my face. And then I, not wanting to die, I'm going to come up and parry. And then he's going to loop around like that and then punch me in the face. Or he can also hit me with the uh, the weak end. My you can actually see in the picture that this, his staff is resting between mine and my forearm. So I'm go back into that physical. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, I was going to do something really cool, and now it's really. All right, do it again. I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Slow. <laughs> in addition, you don't have making. My individual strike goes ahead making contact because if I were to hit him like that, the fight would be over. There'd be no point continuing. Mm -hmm. So we assume that when it said that I strike, that he is going to block him being a good Hans. Uh, and then we had a couple of variations on this as well where Hans evades the uh, evades this binding action on the, the left side. So I come to the center, he threatens, and I change through around and then he is this, yes. which is not really nice clear. Uh, we believe that that refers to thrusting. Now, that was uh, not trusting. Oh, thrusting okay. is Trusting you, you come back. Oh, okay, so that's like that. Okay. Right here. And then we had what we considered possibly could be pushing. Because uh, he lists like three different, I can't. Three different types of variations of pushing, chasing with the thrust, and uh, winding. Um, we just came up with a bunch of different variations, and whatever classification sure. you want to give them, that's fine by us. So, uh, there it is. That one could be pushing, where you just move my staff up out of the way and then try to bull rush me over. Honestly, 
I really like the one where you, uh, you, you, uh, oh, chase me around. Classes where um, the thumb is the weak part, the weak part of your gripping structure, and this uh, in this variation, Jamie like perfectly comes in with like a whole truck ton of force to knock the staff out of my hand. It's also going in the same direction to begin with, and I'm hitting at the exact angle that the thumb hits. In fact, I'm specifically aiming to do that to the thumb. Okay. All right. And I did stuff to do that after the first few times. Well, I'm not done. Just handing it up. All right. Well done. 